Hi, I'm Angelina, an independent Epicure consultant who has a passion for clean, simple food. Uh, my mission is to inspire people to cook healthy, fresh food uh, that is absolutely fun to make. So I post here weekly with uh, recipes and meal ideas using Epicure products. Make sure that you subscribe here so that you don't miss a thing. All right, we're going to do a quick cooking demo here today, and I've got a couple of Epicure products that we're going to be demoing, including a meal solution called Cha Cha Chili. We've got some Greek seasoning, uh, Epicure's cookbook that goes along with the steamer, which we'll also be demoing, ready raw to ready in 20. So this has over 30 recipes that you can make with the steamer. We've got Epicure's paring knife, a funnel, prep dish, cutting bowl four in one spice spoon. Um, so there's lots of product information that we're gonna cover this evening and we're gonna make a really delicious chili meal and simple green salad. So I'll start with the chili. Um, Epicure Steamer, here's the product right here, is a really interesting product it's not um, actually it came in my business kit and I was a little bit leery about it at first the whole concept of microwave steam cooking um, I wasn't really sure if I was gonna be into it I literally use this every day <laughs> so this has become a go-to a couple of reasons it's really hot right now here and so you don't need to cook on, turn on your oven or have anything going on the stovetop. Um, I've got a two-year-old, so not having anything hot going on top of the stove is um, double uh, good for us here in this house at the moment. You don't need to add any oils to cook your food, so it is really a healthier way to cook. Research shows that it retains all the nutrients, same as if you were steaming anything on your stovetop. So there's tons of reasons to use this product. Um, and I've been making oatmeal, rice, um, popcorn, all kinds of things in there. And this is the first time that I've made chili. So it turned out, uh, spoiler alert, it turned out great. <laughs> it was super easy. Um, really all that we, all that I had to do, I cooked, I won't, um, do the full demo using the microwave. It takes about 20 minutes. But I started with just the turkey in there. I let it go for six minutes, uh, drained off a little bit of the liquid that was generated, added the seasoning pouch, cooked for another three and a half, and all of this was following the Tex-Mex chili recipe in the book here. I then just added two cups of dry pasta and two cups of hot water, cooked for six minutes, gave it a stir, cooked for three and a half minutes, I added um, then a can of diced tomatoes, cooked for four minutes. So when you add up all those cumulative cooking times, it took about 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm solo parenting here today. So I normally, you know, I have a two-year-old hanging off me at all times while I'm trying to cook. And what I loved about this method today, I mean, chili, normally you have to kind of watch it. You've got a pot boiling. We added pasta, so you've got a couple of different things going on top of the stove. You're um, trying to brown meat, you've got to keep it stirred. Once everything goes in the same pot, you have to keep stirring it to um, you know, make sure that nothing sticks and then it takes a little while to cook down. The consistency of this chili is honestly better than anything I've ever achieved on the stovetop. So I'm really um, quite blown away actually with the out outcome of this cha-cha chili today. Um, so I will just hold this up. Hopefully you can see <laughs> the end result. I'm going to just plate a little bit here. That should give you a better idea of the consistency and the texture. You can see there's no liquid running out of that chili. It's, it's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. So to finish I enjoy a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So I'm just going to add a little bit of parm. And your chili was as easy as that. So of course you can eat this on its own. Um, we've been really trying to follow the whole half a plate of veggies uh, concept now for a while. So I'm just going to add a simple green salad. This is just an arugula and spinach mix that I picked up at the store. We've got a um, little prep bowl here. So these come in sets of four. 
and they're awesome for storing small amounts of leftovers or for serving something like tacos where you've just got a lot of little things that need to get out on the table. We're going to be preparing today with Epicure's paring knife. So it comes in this nice little case. This is a ceramic knife. So a couple of things that I didn't know about ceramic knives. Um, apparently the stainless steel in most knives is what causes the oxidization in fruits and vegetables like apples or avocado. So by using a ceramic knife you avoid um, or certainly delay that for quite a lot longer. So apparently all the pros are using ceramic. I didn't know that. Got a little bit of cucumber, so I'm basically just doing a Greek side salad today. And I hope you can see how easy, I mean these veggies are pretty soft anyhow, but the knife is just lovely, very sharp, very easy to use. This is definitely something that I'm going to be adding um, more of to my kitchen. So they have a number of other knives in addition to the paring knife, and I will definitely be investing in those. So the final uh, finishing touch I'm going to do today, we've got some fresh basil here. So during COVID, we've been one of those families that's started to get into growing more fruits and veggies and herbs at home. And I'm loving the basil. I've kind of been putting it on everything. Um, so again, I hope you can see, you know, when I've been slicing this up in the past using some of my normal knives, you know, it's been kind of draggy and... Uh, had a, a bit of a tough time with having things stick to the knife and yeah, it just hasn't been extremely easy. That was extremely easy. So I'm just gonna add a little bit here. And I like basil on everything, so you know what? I'm gonna put what's left here just as a little garnish on the salad. So um, I actually had some of the Greek dressing mixed up already. So you can kind of see it separating. It's a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, three quarter cups of olive oil, and then two tablespoons of the Greek dressing mix, and that's on the package, so that's real easy. Um, this has zero sodium, so salad dressings to me are one of those products that have a lot of hidden um, salts and sugars. There's no sugar, no sodium um, in this Greek dressing. Real easy, you just pour it into, this is Epicure's um, cruet, Easy way to mix salad dressings and sauces. And a great accompanying product is this little funnel. So this simple little funnel is one of the best things that came in the Epicure Business Kit. I don't know if I would have ordered it. And um, for just doing your olive oil, spices, and red wine vinegar, it just makes it so easy. Everything um, just flows right in there. There's no mess. You don't have things pouring down the side of your bottle. It's been one of those little products that um, punches above its weight class, I would say. So very uh, affordable thing to add to your kitchen kit. And it's uh, it's been excellent. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of feta to finish out the salad. And we will add, I'm going to give that one more shake. It's pretty well mixed, but we'll give it one more shake. I'm just going to add this Greek dressing. You can do a creamy version of this as well. I love an oil and vinegar, so I've just kept it really simple. All right, we're going to go ahead, just mix up this salad a little bit. Okay, and get this plated up. you can see how quick and easy it was to make a really gorgeous, delicious, healthy meal. Got a lot of green going on in that plate. Um, so yeah, the Cha Cha Chili Mix, there's a ton of different variety or variations that you can do as well with this one seasoning packet. This is one of those seasoning packs when you open it up, the smell is just amazing. So you know right away it's going to be really, really good. But you can do a beef chili, there's lots of vegetarian options, noodles, no option, or no noodles, sorry, beans, whatever you like. You can add some chili and kick it up, add some jalapenos, you know, there's lots of different things. It's a very versatile mix. So that's it. We've got um, supper made and I would say you could easily have this on the table in half an hour or less. So um, 
yeah, there's some, some great products highlighted by Epicure today. Um, if you have any questions on anything that I've demoed, please feel free to drop some comments in below the video. Send me a DM. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.